A new bipartisan report from the House Select Committee on China offers a few common sense but desperately needed measures to strengthen America's position. By the way, among this, this is 130 altogether specific policy recs, and they're aimed at decoupling from China and strengthening America's opposition to what is obviously our greatest enemy, which is China. Now, one big deal of it is to completely reset our economic relationship. Another is to stem the flow of U.S. capital and technology that fuels China's military modernization and all the human rights abuses that we've been documenting here on The Angle. Joining me now as the chairman of that committee, Wisconsin Congressman Mike Gallagher. Congressman, I'm so thrilled that you guys put this uh, out. It's not everything that the China hawks, uh, uh, which I am, uh, want, but there's a lot in it. Why does our relationship with China need a reset? Because we have become dangerously dependent on a hostile foreign regime, on a genocidal communist regime that has threatened to weaponize our supply chain dependency. So imagine if we got into a conflict over Taiwan, if they cut off the export of advanced pharmaceutical ingredients and Americans couldn't get access to life-saving drugs, the chaos that would cause. And I think you have to go back 25 years ago, we planted a lie into a bill that we passed. We, the lie was that China was going to be designated a market economy permanently. Permanently. The problem then and now is that China's economy is not a market economy. They subsidize their domestic industries. They dump products onto the global market in order to devastate American Put them out of business. Their exactly. goal is to put American companies out of business, period. So End of story. What we are saying, the other lie was, was, was that by integrating them in the global economy, it would moderate their Get behavior. But they became more repressive internally so let's go through and aggressive the list. externally. Bush, Greenspan, Clinton. All three in agreement, and most of the Republican establishment, the Chamber of Commerce crap. Mm -hmm. They all thought China was going to come along. This mm -hmm. was going to be a great thing. I want to talk about the decision back in 2000 that you're referencing to grant the permanent trade relations status to China. Now, we used to call it the most favored nation status. It was one of the most important policy decisions, I think, of the last 50 years in America because it grew China. And it was once considered untouchable. How did you get this bipartisan agreement on that, and will you move it to the floor for an actual vote. Well, one thing that helped is we did multiple war games, kind of teasing out what a confrontation would look like in terms of supply chains, economic weaponization. And I think the evidence has just become too big to ignore. I don't think anyone could say with a straight face that China is abiding by the commitments uh, they made uh, when they acceded to the WTO. We had great testimony from former U.S. Trade Representative Ambassador Lighthizer that was very persuasive. And so what you have here, I think, for the first time in history is a bipartisan report saying we need to move on from the PNTR paradigm and adopt a new economic relationship, reset the relationship with China that we can actually defend ourselves from the CCP's economic aggression, because the results have been devastating. We've seen deindustrialization in the Midwest, again, a growing dependency on a hostile regime, and debt, debt, and more debt. So we can either admire this problem and do nothing or take action. It's time to take action. And a ballooning trade deficit. Now, your committee is suggesting, again, this is all bipartisan, everyone has to realize this, that China should be given a separate test of what's called tariff codes that would make it harder for China to export into our country. Now, explain what the tariff codes are. And don't think we're too wonky people. This is important. <laughs> Americans want to learn, so go ahead. Well, I, th I think, and again, uh, credit to Ambassador Lighthizer on this. You can't simply just uh, repeal PNTR and do nothing, right? You have to modernize. You go back to some 1930s legislation, smooth Holly tariff. So you have to move China to a new tariff column. And then you can imagine different categories of tariffs depending on how sensitive something is. So potentially higher tariffs for things that are directly related to national security, like AI, quantum, hypersonics, things like that. Potentially lower tariffs in areas that are less relevant for national security. But the overall point is that China would be back. I mean, the Congress would be back in the driver's seat in terms of determining what that should look like and would have an annual vote, which we used to have on our relationship right. with China and, until we actually decoupled that vote and also delinked human rights concerns from granting permanent normal trade relations. Now, status. the key thing is moving this report to legislation. As I said earlier, how confident are you that the Speaker of the House, we're trying to get him on the show, uh, Mike Johnson, will actually bring this to the floor? Well, when he was head of the Republican Study Committee, Mike Johnson put forward a lot of very forward leaning, really good. I think, yeah. smart, strong recommendations on China. I've had very productive conversations good. with him and committee chairman, and certainly the view I've communicated is that we need to take action. It would be a massive missed opportunity. And so I think the goal is to package up 
the policy proposals we put forward in the in the report into stuff that can actually pass and have a vote early next year before and force it's too late. in the Senate people like John Tester Sherrod Brown all these guys who've been skating on this force them to vote on this absolutely force Biden to veto it I'm, you know three steps ahead congressman uh, great to see you I'll hire you thank you <laughs> no, you can't